Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I use my iPad for school, university, and basically everything in my life except for editing videos and scrolling through Instagram. I thought I would make this video because maybe some of you guys are considering whether it's worth it to get an iPad for school or you guys want to better use your iPad. So I hope that this video will be useful for you guys and that it will motivate you guys. Guys, so before I start this video, I just wanted to say that this video is sponsored by High PDF, which is an all-in-one online PDF converter, and it's amazing because you can convert PDF to PowerPoint, PowerPoint to PDF, PDF to Word. You can combine PDFs, you can cut them, you can do all sorts of stuff with them. So I just wanted to show you guys, and I really think it's the perfect online website for all of us and it's something that I'm sure I'm going to be using a lot in this upcoming semester and I'm really happy that they reached out to me so I just wanted to show you guys how to use it and yeah let me open my laptop so to get to the website you just have to type in highpdf.com and you will be greeted by this beautiful page and here are all the options you just have to click on one of them and it will lead you to this page where you just have to upload your file to convert and that's basically it once it's converted you just have to download the file and it will be ready in the format that you want it to be if you guys are interested be sure to go down to the links in the description box or in the comment section and yeah let's get on with the video so for my iPad, I have a super, 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 super strong password that I took a lot of time to think of. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I bet you guys would never have guessed that because you would think I'm smarter. I am quite a simplistic person, so I don't have like a lot of apps. I used to have all my study apps in a folder, but recently I actually put them around all the other non-study apps. So that's why the format is like this. Important things that you should get with your iPad are obviously the Apple Pencil because this is what makes the iPad great for studying. Because without this, it's just an iPad. So you need an Apple Pencil. It will help you save paper, organize your notes, have all your notes always in one place and make studying a lot more easy. So this is the magical wand of good grades. Although you can get good grades without this also. I'm just saying I really like it. So yeah. <laughs> Having a keyboard to go with your iPad is also quite a good idea because it's just perfect. More on that later. And the iPad you can use, I think around 10 hours without charging. I don't know, because I normally go out in the morning and then I come back home and by the time it's nighttime, I charge it again. And I actually use my iPad continuously almost, except for those breaks. So normally I have lectures, practicals, I always keep my iPad open. And then I study in between. So around 10 hours of battery time is on this iPad. I really like using the iPad for studying because it's like so small. But it has everything. It has all your notebooks for every single subject, all the textbooks, all the, what do you call it? PowerPoint slides and like internet it has everything so everything is in this little lightweight thing that's around 0.5 kilos it's light it's convenient you can lay on your bed studying you can wake up to it you can be upside down studying you can you know yeah it's just convenient i'm gonna first show you guys what app i use for taking notes because that's like the most important part of my life right now because I go to lectures and I go to practicals and I have to study, you know. Anyways, so that app is Notability. I actually like it a lot as opposed to Good Notes or Liquid Text. I don't know. I'm I'm just more of a Notability person. So yeah, I love the fact that you can have folders and dividers. So it's super easy to organize your notes and everything is in such a pretty layout. For the paper, you can choose between black paper, white paper. I quite like this skin colored paper. I don't know the color, beige colored? I have no idea. I like that one with grid paper, but there's also bullet journal paper, line paper, and black paper. 
and after making your notes, you can share them, upload them to the Google Drive or change the app for it. Sometimes I actually convert my notes into iBooks format so that it's just easier to study and yeah. For reading books and PDFs, I use these two apps mainly. One is called PDF Expert and the other is called iBooks. So PDF Expert part I use for books that I have to annotate because you can actually write on it like you write a notability and you can highlight, you can add stickers. I just really love this app and it's an app that I would really recommend you guys to use if you guys you know, you, if you guys need to read PDFs or books and stuff. iBooks is like the grandma of the, this app, so it's like not as developed and not as cool and it doesn't have like features and stuff. But I like to use it for those books that I don't annotate. So it's not as cool, but I like to use it when I need a like a book. Simple app to read a book and sometimes during lectures your teachers talk way too fast so you, you cannot write as fast as the teacher talks so therefore i have this app that i really love it's called bear i love the app i'm a minimalist in a way like i like my apps to be minimalistic looking this app is just so minimal and it's so pretty I just love it. And sometimes you can combine this app with Notability by screenshotting with you right there and adding it to Notability. So I do that a lot also. Flashcards are basically like a medical student's best friend. So for flashcards, I really love to use Brainscape, but I also use Quizlet. Quizlet is free, so I like that a lot. And Brainscape is also free, but my flashcards come from one of my classmates' pro account. He makes lots of amazing flashcards and shares it with all of us for our subjects. I really love Brainscape because you can... So you have flashcards, obviously, but on the side you have a scale of 1 to 5 and you can pick what level you are in on this particular flashcard and that is really useful for studying. Music is so important for studying and I myself actually don't use the Pomodoro method or any type of method for studying so I just listen to music and study until I feel sick of studying and then I take a break. So I don't really use a, me so I don't really use a method, I just study till I'm sick of studying. These two apps I use the most for listening to music and one is Relax Melodies and other is Spotify. Although I also use SoundCloud when I'm sick of the ads because I don't have Spotify Premium. I'm a medical student so saving money is important. Relax Melodies I really love because there's like a variety of sounds and you can combine them, you can adjust the volume of each of the sounds and it's just so calming to listen to and I just love it. Spotify, SoundCloud, I guess you guys know already, it's just listen to music. And there's quite a lot of good study playlists on both apps, which is great. Wow. I'm already running out of apps for studying because I really don't have much. For calendar, I actually don't write down my calendar on my iPad. I just write it in my Clever Fox planner. Clever Fox actually sent me a planner a while ago and I've been using it so much. I love it. And yeah, so that is something I use paper for. One thing I love about using an iPad to study is that sometimes it's basically like using two tablets because you can split screen, you can even triple screen only in Notability and another app of course so in Notability you can split screen, you can put your lecture slides on one side and put your notes on the other side and you can just write notes on your lecture slides and sometimes you can also add another screen of Safari to Google stuff so that's super convenient. You can also modify your, what do you call it, the, the thing that comes up from below. That's how you get the split screen. 
I think it's called a control stick or something. You can modify the apps on it to be what you normally use. And for me, I normally use Notability, Safari, PDF, Expert, Bear, and like study apps. So those are always on the bottom for me. I feel like I actually made this video into kind of like a, what apps I use. But that's kind of like... That's kind of related to how to use your iPad for study, so yeah. I hope that you guys found this video to be helpful, motivating, and entertaining. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Before you close this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave down in the comment section how school is going for you guys. and. Yeah, I wish you guys an amazing week ahead of you. Love you guys. Bye.